Today is November 26th. Today's quote is entitled, Visualize Yourself. Visualize the person you want to be and always strive to live as that person would live. You can even think of a devotee you would like to be like, and when a situation is difficult, ask yourself, how would that devotee react? Then try to follow that example. So, this is a little secret. I don't know if it's a secret, but something I discovered, maybe you've discovered it, and others have discovered it as well, but let's share it. Sometimes when I'm not acting, or about not to act the way I know I should act, I think of a devotee that I know would act perfectly in this situation. So I think, okay, if so-and-so were in this situation, Although I feel like doing or saying this, let me consider what he would do and say. And often, I realize that he would not do or say what I am about to do or say, and therefore I control myself. So that's an example of visualizing a person I would like to be by visualizing an actual person. In other words, you could visualize a virtual person, so to speak. I would like to be like this and that. I don't have anyone particularly in mind. I may have many, many people that act that way, but not one person that I'm trying to emulate per se. So that's one way of creating this, this vision of who you want to be. But there's another way of creating it, which is actually having a person in your mind. So I would like to be this, like this person. And meditating on the person, thinking about them, talking about what they're like, reading about them, if there's anything to read about, just, just kind of getting the mold of that, getting yourself to become like a mold of that person. And then keeping that in the forefront. This is, this is really powerful. First thing, of course, we need to know what we want to be like. I think a lot of us are not clear on what we want to be like. And then, as we said a few weeks ago, we just come, become like what we become. Reality creates reality for us rather than we creating reality, reality for ourselves. So it's really powerful to have a vision of someone. And as I said, it doesn't have to be a person that's existing. It can be an idealized person. I would like to have these qualities. I would like to exhibit uh, certain behaviors. I would like to speak in this way and not in that way. I would like, so then you have this vision which is very clear in your mind of what you want to be like. And that's very powerful because it draws you into acting that way or it draws you in to doing things which would, which would help you or develop your ability to act that way. It would either cause you to act that way or you would do things that would strengthen your ability to act that way or at least it would draw you in a positive way into trying to be that way or trying to act that way just because that vision is like a magnet so it's it's always there and it always will kind of direct you when you're making decisions and doing various things to be in alignment with the vision of the kind of person you want to be so everyone should have a vision not only of their goals in life but the kind of person they want to be and then gradually we want to grow into that vision become more like that person. And if you don't have that vision, then I recommend you get one. And if you like, you can start with a person. It's just, I'd like to be like this person. and Meditate on them and try to emulate their qualities as best you can. <laughs>